everyone and welcome to another thrifty Thursday and what did Tessie get and what are we gonna work on today I hope you stay tuned <laughs> From Grandma Fanny's Diary, July 5th, 1942. Today I baked all day because the threshing men are soon going to be here to harvest the wheat from our fields. Hi everyone and welcome to another Thrifty Thursday. And I'm going to share with you what I got today at the thrift store. Now, I usually try to go under my $5 and I think I spent 6 So let's, let's get opening the bag. So the first thing I got was 75 cents. Isn't it beautiful? It's burlap and it has the lace on the bottom of it. And it was 75 cents. Isn't that pretty? Then I got some garden seeds for 25 cents each. I got parsley and I got basil and I got some lettuce. So that was a really good deal. So excited. And then for 20 cents, I got this piece of cloth, which I'm going to make beeswax bull cover with it. It's the perfect size. It's a napkin, and they only had one, but I only paid 20 cents for it. And then I got a whole bunch of these, and they are little organic lemongrass moisturizing packets. Lemongrass. They were samples, but they are really adorable. And I thought it would be cute to have them in my bathroom in a basket. I actually spent $7.52. Now, what in the world did I spend that on? Let me show it with you. Also, I got these two. And this is hard to find for me other than going to a craft store. And I don't drive to the craft stores in the big city. So I got these for 50 cents. This is the wire I use to make my um, wreaths and all my Christmas wreaths and the herbal wreath that you've seen. This is a great deal for 50 cents. I got both of them. If you watched my Sunday's video, you would have seen me sitting at a doorway. And that is for my outdoor canning uh, pantry. It used to be my pantry, my candy pantry. It's an unheated outdoor porch, but it can get very hot as well. And I also keep some of my canning jars there. I got this curtain to put at the door and I paid $4 for it, but it's a big curtain and I really want to fix that door to look a lot better than what it does. So that is the project we're going to work on today. We are actually going to take the old curtain down which was white and it's all stained and it's all dirty and it used to hang the whole way to the ground and every day I use this door because this door takes me out to my clothesline and also takes me out to the back of the porch here to my chicken house so I'm always using this door my water barrel is right beside it so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna fix this door up so it just looks a little more presentable and also it would keep some of the sunlight out so Let's get started on our project. All right, so this is the ugly, ugly door that I have right now. So this is what the curtain looks like from the outside. Now, of course, when the door shuts, I don't even have anything to tie it back. Look how dirty it's getting because it's dragging on the ground. So I'm sure we can turn this into something at least a little nicer than what it is. So here's what it looks like from the inside. It's just a hodgepodge of sloppiness. <laughs> I'm using an apron to tie it. So let's get started on this and let's see if we can turn this into something a little more presentable in this beautiful canning gr in this beautiful canning pantry. Because the canning pantry itself is a very cute and unique place, but the door is lacking something. Actually, the door is lacking a lot. <laughs> 
All right, so there we got the edge of the door. And I took that old curtain down. So it's going to be really redneck, everyone. I want you to know that. But it's going to look a lot better than what it did. So I have no place for a... I don't have any curtain rods, so we're going to do this Tessie's way. And eventually I'll get a curtain rod. But there you go. That is the door frame. And as you all know where it looks out, it looks out to here which is a really nice scenery, but beans that have canning jars in here, you don't want sunlight. So the important thing is when you have a food pantry is you want as little sunlight as you possibly can. And now there is a little sunlight there, over there, which it would take me days to get all this stuff away to get new curtains there. But eventually I'm going to work on that. So eventually I'm going to work on that area. But we want the door, so the door is important because the door gets the evening sunlight and it's really strong. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to put up the curtain. Well, you saw there was a gap. Well, guess what? What I bought was $4 for two panels. I only needed the one, and there's where I put the other one. How cool is that? So now it looks so much better. You will not believe in person how much better it looks. It's one of the hottest days of the year. I'm out in this pantry. It's hot. But I'm so super excited to share with you the new reveal of the pantry door so excited. All right, so let me get all the junk away and let me show you what we did. So we took our dirty curtains. They were nasty. It was just not appropriate for that door because we use it a lot. I spent $4.75 for this whole door reveal. There you go, my friends. I found that sign. It fell behind my hutch. I don't know where it came from. But I, I must have got it at a thrift store one time or somewhere, or Susan gave it, somebody. And I have these lights and the great reveal. There is my door. I am so super excited. It just goes with the whole pantry. So I hope you enjoyed this video of taking Thrifty Thursday item and I had in my head what I wanted to do, but I never dreamed I would have that. And that's what we made with it. I had to share with you what I found at the Dollar Tree for one dollar. Doesn't it look great? And it's been perfect here in the pantry. So I'm going to pan my camera around and I'm going to show you what the whole pantry looks like now. So, so super happy. So. For $5.75, I made a great entrance. There was no talent required because it was just hammer and nails. And I made something that is 100 times better than what it looked like before. Take care, everyone. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.